leafing through foreign newspapers around Times Square can really start you daydreaming about a trip to Spain or France. But wait a minute, this is New York and traces of Europe are everywhere. The city is full of spots that can make you believe you're traipsing through the old world. Plan your route carefully and a metro card can magically transform into a Eurail pass. I'm Seth Kugel, a travel writer for the New York Times. I love exploring New York, and nothing against your standard spots like the Empire State Building, Coney Island, and the Bronx Zoo, but the city always has something unexpected to offer. Let's check out a new way to spend a weekend in New York. The A train to 190th Street plants you in Fort Tryon Park, where you'll find the Cloisters, a scene so French you'd think they shipped it across the Atlantic, which they sort of did. We just walked through the, the, cloister, the little cloisters in there, and we, my, my mum's sister has a house in Conque, in the south of France, in the Midi, in the Languedoc area, and it's very similar to that, very much reminds me of that. Several reconstructed cloisters were brought over by George Gray Barnard nearly a century ago. Today, this hilltop museum holds the Metropolitan Museum of Art's medieval collection, Stained glass, architectural sculpture, tapestries, and more. All this walking around can make anyone hungry, and no faux European tour would be complete without heading downtown for some pizza. Just about any train will get you to the financial district, where outdoor dining on Stone Street is a New York gem that practically nobody knows about. Except apparently all these people. Stone Street's got a great European feel to it. You know, it might be like Temple Bar in Dublin or, you know, just a little side street in, in London too. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's the perfect place for lunch. Italian, French, or Irish food on a warm, sunny day. And it definitely feels European. Although it's hard to pinpoint exactly what city. I would actually think that I was in Amsterdam because of the cobblestones and the old building. It just has that European feel with the, with the smaller streets that go any which way and a lot of the restaurants sort of just lining the street, people sitting outside in cafes. Food, drink, cobblestones, people watching, you could really spend a whole afternoon here. But when it comes time for European nightlife, You've got to head back uptown. St. Andrew's Pub and Restaurant is a Scottish refuge in Midtown where you can have a Bellhaven Ale and listen to Celtic music on Saturdays. The atmosphere couldn't be more European, as long as you don't mind sharing it with a fun crowd from Milwaukee. Today, we have just scratched the surface of European New York. We could have used our faux URL pass to check out a cricket match in Brooklyn, to down some Bosnian sausage in Queens, and all this without exchanging a single hard-earned dollar for the all-powerful euro. Here, the exchange rate is one US dollar for one US dollar. <laughs> 